Hey guys, this is D with Cruiser Cult. Today, I'm gonna to walk you guys through how to rewire a Hopkins plug, part number 43315 for Tacoma um, to fit to our 60 series Land Cruisers. So one thing to note on the wiring for the 60 series, um, if you're looking at the turn signals, it would be green and yellow for your right turn signal and green and black for your left turn signals. For my 62, it was green and yellow for both turn signals. Um, the only other variant I saw was on mine, my wiring harness, um, I have white and black as my ground. And I saw some pictures online of an early 60s where it had black or it looked like black or brown. It's pretty dirty from the pictures, but uh, those were the grounds coming off the, the light bulb sockets on the back of the tail light. Um, so I've already done the rewiring on mine, but I can walk through and really show a quick how to deep pin. Um, so when you're looking at this, these plugs here, I've kind of labeled them already, but uh, this plug actually will go into your tail light, and then this plug goes into the body harness. So we'll start with the driver's side. So I've labeled this here already, um, the, mar the marker's coming off, but bottom left corner, when you're looking at this, is going to be your brake. This is your ground. Your top center left is gonna be your turn signal. And then your top left is gonna be your tail light. And on the driver's harness, um, for the, the trailing harness, it picks up the brake light, the turn signal for the left side, and the running lights on that side. For the passenger side, all it's really picking up is the right turn signal. And obviously, uh, turn signal again is top center. And then I labeled this as my reverse as it's gonna be for another project. I'm actually gonna run an additional wire off of this and through the harness just to match this side here so that uh, I can run um, brighter reverse lights when I back up. Um, so we'll just go through a quick deep pinning of this so that you can guys kind of see how this works. Um, pretty easy. Here's the tool I use here. I got this off of Amazon. Um, I have another one that's off of Harbor Freight, but uh, just a simple pick. Um, nothing, nothing expensive. A couple bucks off the line here. So on this one here, you're going in and you can see the tool get in. And there's that little plastic clip. You want to get the wedge in there, pry it up. And as you're prying it up, you pull it back. Try it again. There you go. And it comes right out. On the other side, since it's a flat plug, there's a little clip that sits, plastic piece that sits right above. The camera can pick it up right above it right here. You pry that up and you pull back on the wiring. And one more time. These plastic things can be quite brittle and I just stabbed my finger, but that's okay. Part of cruiser life. Oh, gosh, a lot harder than, okay. You see how I'm actually prying that plastic back? That's the holding the pin down. There it is. And then you can then remove and then repin to whatever position you need it to corresponding plug. Um, install video coming shortly, but uh, that's how you rewire and depin the harness for Hopkins trailer harness to work for our 60 series Land Cruiser. All right, get out on those trails, guys. Talk to you soon. Take care.